Hello, everybody. Uh, you can hear me, yes. So, as she said, I am a kid who never grew up. I love toys. Do you like toys? Yeah, I think so. Well, I like the electronic toys, and I have a lot of toys. Now, I found out a way to somehow take my passion and my enthusiasm and actually make some money on it. So I've created a really wonderful job. Now, one of the things I do is I look at all technology. And some of you may know that this has been the year of the tablet, right? You all know about the tablet. Last year was the phone. This year is the tablet. So, to give you an example, I have a few tablets with me. Now, of course, you all know the iPad, right? So we all have the iPad. But, but that's not all, because I have to look at all the gadgets. So the next thing I have is, of course, the iPad Mini. And there's your iPad Mini. Now, Apple doesn't have an exclusive on this anymore. So in my pocket over here, I have the Nexus 10. Ah, very cool. And in this one, I have the Nexus 7. But if that's not enough, I also look at, oh, this is the Kindle Fire 10. And it's on the one here. And if we're going to do the Kindle, we might as well have the small Kindle. This is the Kindle 7. And then, of course, if you want the regular old Kindle reader, I've got that as well. But don't forget, there's more. And what's more is, then in this, in this pocket, no, over here, yes, there is the, the Nook. This is the big Nook. And then in here is, this is a special jacket, by the way. This is the small Nook. And now, finally, we have the Surface. Uh, this is the new Microsoft Surface, which the cover turns into a keyboard. Isn't that cool? There's a keyboard on it, and it even has a little kickstand. But, you know, I'm not here to talk about tablets. I'm really here to talk about the interface to these electronics, because I am convinced that the way we work with all this electronics, you heard earlier about how the single cell phone had more power than how many, how many zillion uh, Apollo 11s going to the moon? Well, in fact, this is even more powerful than that because all these are connected to a supercomputer. You are, in fact, carrying a supercomputer in your pocket. Everybody, because these devices, you think of them as phones or tablets, but really they are terminals connecting to a lot of processing. But one of the things that hasn't happened very well is how do you use them on an everyday basis? So first problem is how do you power them up, right? Because, you know, of all these things, you can imagine they run out of battery. So I have in my little case here my few interesting things. So the first thing I have is very mundane. This is a rechargeable battery, okay? It's a little battery, so if I'm on the road and I want to plug something in, I can plug it in here, or I can connect this to my iPad and connect it. But this is an interesting battery because this is a, as soon as I can find the button, a talking battery. If I press the button here, you can hear it. The battery is full. See, the battery, the bu this actually talks to you. So this is a very useful thing to have. But what happens if this runs out? And I'm from New York, and you may have heard we had a little thing called a hurricane there. And so, you know, what do you do? You have no electricity. You can't charge that anymore. So one of the things that came up that I found was very, very interesting is this little thing here, if I can get it on my bag. Okay. I bet you nobody can guess what this is. So this opens up like this, and... Let's see. Okay. Anybody want to guess what this is? Okay, what? What do you think it is? What? Wow, how'd you know that? <laughs> You're absolutely right. You put wood in here. This is a fan. There's a little fan on here. And what it does is it, the fan runs here. And then the, right in here, you can see in here, there is an electro, uh, a, a sensor here that actually converts the heat into electricity, so it recharges the battery, so it keeps on making electricity. Now, this is for camping, but they make a much bigger version of this, which they send to villages where there's no electricity, no light or anything else. Not only can they cook, but they can also uh, turn on and off their, um, uh, the, uh, charge their cell phones. Now, what, you think that's funny? <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm looking at is one of the big issues I have is it, electronics are just too hard to use. It's, it's really, why should it be so complicated? I got phones in my pocket too. Let me pull out one that I can do this with. Let's see. This is the new Nokia phone. This is the Samsung phone. Ah, here we go. This is the Nexus. This is the new Nexus phone. And one of the things that's interesting is, you know, I like to listen to music. So um, 
This is a speaker, and as you can see, it's off. And if I put the phone onto the speaker here, and of course, ne demos never work when you're on stage. That's the first thing you, you learn if you do this on a regular basis. If I just put, yeah, turn it on here. If I put this down on the speaker here, what's going to happen? Oh, maybe not. If not, we'll use another phone. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Well, we'll try another phone. <laughs> if, you, if you put this phone down on the, um, on the speaker, what will happen is it will automatically, uh, there it goes, it just turned itself on. Notice the speaker came on and it will turn blue. And this is now automatically pairing. So if I had music on here, which I think don't know if I do or not, it will automatically start playing. So just by putting this on here, it's called near field, near, near field communications. This is something you guys are going to be using on a regular basis. Unfortunately, Apple doesn't have it yet, but almost every other phone that's being made today has near field communications. So what can you do with it? You can pair it to your speaker. You can also use it to uh, pay for um, a subway ride in New York City. I pay for all my taxis in New York City using the phone. Uh, you can use it for changing money between each other. It's a very, very powerful system. It also allows you to, for example, if you like headphones, and you want noise-canceling headphones, you know, you've all heard about the Bose headphones and all the rest. The much more interesting ones are these. These are the Parrot headphones. I can't hear anything because they're noise-canceling. But these don't have any controls on them. There's no buttons on them. Why? Because it's all touch-sensitive. I put the, the phone next to this. It automatically puts the music onto here, turns on the noise-canceling. Oh, by the way, you can speak on it. It's a microphone as well. And uh, I can control the phone, and I can actually control the headphones with my iPhone. I can actually change the acoustics of the device with my phone. But, you know, that's only part of the equation. So let's see, um, you know, we can do near-field communications for, for payment. This is the square where you can swipe your credit card. But that's really not where things are going. What you really want is something where you can do things that are interesting. So if I open up here, this is, these are um, sunglasses. And they're pretty cool sunglasses, right? You think they're cool? I think they're cool. But guess what? You're all on candid camera because guess what? That is a camera here. It's a full 1080 camera. Everything I see is being recorded. I can do recording still images or movie images because this is a moving camera. And if I move on here, let's say I want to do this in the sports world and I'm outside and I want something uh, that's going to go um, and I I'm, I'm want to do the same thing, but I'm a sports guy. And, you know, I like to, uh, I like to go uh, skiing, for example. So I can put on this, which is my hero camera, and then I can put on these, sungla these goggles here, and I can add these to it. Oops, see, well, I can add these to it, and now I have, now I have my... Uh, uh, broken off here. There we go. Now I have my goggles. But what are these goggles have in them? There's a TV in here. There's actually a heads-up display, so I can see what the camera's doing on my heads-up display. But, but, let's say I want to make a phone call. So how am I going to do that? Well, if I put on my glove here, and I want to make a phone call, you know, this phone, right? This is what? This is a phone. This is a phone here. The my air phone is in here. Microphone is in here. And I can now make my phone call on here. So I have, I have some capabilities that are kind of unusual. And if I really want to do something fun, I can take this little box and I can stream the whole thing by video. This will actually stream, live stream. Same thing we're doing here. This little box will do the same live stream. But I have millions and millions of things to do. I'll take this off. But even these interfaces, at the end of the day, they really don't, um, they don't really do what I'd like to see happening on a regular basis. So everybody has a need for electricity. I happen to have a plug coming out of my, um, out of my butt briefcase. I can stick this light bulb into the bug. And then um, with a little touch of a remote control, I can turn the bulb on and off. This is a bulb that has its own IP address. I can actually adjust this bulb. I can turn it on and off. I can do it with the phone. I'm doing it with a remote control here just because it's easier. But even that means pushing a button. And that's not where we really want to be. Where we really want to be is in a mode where you don't have to push any buttons. And you want to be in a mode where it just takes your brain waves. And so this, this is a brain wave reader. And what it's doing here, is the light on? Is the blue light on here on the side? No? Yes? OK. So I don't hear it moving, though, is the problem. Ah, there we go. There go my ears. 
And what will happen now is if I'm excited and interesting, these ears will start to move. By the way, they're also making a tail. You put it behind you, and when you see somebody you like, the tail starts wagging. The other person, <laughs> tail starts wagging too. So you have ears and wagging tails. That's using brain waves to control things. That's where we're going. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed it.